If you're running Facebook ads for your brand and you can't find a winning ad, all of the things you're testing are working, you're messing with audiences, and you just can't find anything to get you sales, watch this video. This is exactly what you're doing wrong and how to make a winning ad. This is exactly how to make a creative that's going to convert and finally get you some sales. The first thing is that your creatives are probably horrible. They're not engaging with the customer. You don't communicate the solution to the problem that you're solving. Your talent probably has nothing to do with the person that you're selling to. For example, if you're selling a weighted blanket, and your target audience is a 50 year old woman and you're, you have a 25 year old talent or a man in the ad, it is just not going to communicate with your target audience. They're not even going to watch your ad because it makes no sense. Everything needs to be congruent and actually makes sense. Your script should communicate exactly how your audience talks. Read Reddit, all these different forums, read the YouTube comments about different products that are similar to your space and understand your demographic, understand how they talk, how they communicate, and the exact problem that they're trying to solve. You're also probably using stock footage, you're using too polished of footage in your ads and it just does not look engaging. It looks like an ad. The biggest thing I observe when I'm looking at all the ads that are actually working right now is that they don't actually look look like an ad. None of them look like an ad anymore. They don't look like a Super Bowl commercial. They don't look like an actual commercial that you would see on TV. They need to look very unpolished, organic, natural, like a friend basically sent it to you. If you have a friend that sends you a TikTok video about a product that they heard about, you're probably going to look into that product and maybe even buy it at Sephora or Amazon because you trust what your friend says and now you trust this organic creator telling you their experience. Your ad should say the exact same thing and should communicate the exact same way that your customer comprehends basically. Another point here is that when you're filming your script or you're filming your talent, for example, with this weighted blanket. This should be in the talent's house, the type of setting that your customer is going to buy in. It should be filmed in their house, selfie style, on an iPhone, no polished cameras, nothing overly done and super polished because it's just not going to work. People are going to think that you're selling to them as opposed to looking organic. It's filmed in an iPhone. It's filmed in the woman's house. Naturally, maybe they have a cat in the video, whatever it is to look extremely natural so the customer doesn't feel like they're being sold to. They feel like they're being suggested a product from someone that's dealt with this and now they can help them get their problem solved, basically. Even if you're spending $50 a day, you need to be testing at least once a week. Create new ads constantly. If you have a bunch of footage from this one talent that you filmed one time, you can probably create five or six different ad concepts from this footage. You should be trying AI voiceovers. You should be trying static images. You should be trying different value props that pop up on the screen. There's so many different creatives that you need to be testing constantly. Just because you're spending $50 a day or $100 a day, Whatever spend level you're at does not mean you should not be testing. That doesn't mean your audience testing your different interests are going to make your terrible ads work. If you have a terrible ad, nothing is going to make it work. If you have a great ad, all of these audience testing and interests don't even apply and they don't even matter because your ad is amazing. Make amazing ads and you don't have to worry about anything else. You can just target broad, the age range, or the gender. If you need to get a new ad in immediately and you can't cast the talent quick enough or you can't film quick enough, whatever it is, write on a sticky note your value props or a quick headline that resonates with your audience, stick it on your product, take a picture of it, crop it in Canva one by one, nine by 16, and then upload that immediately and then test that. You should be testing images, at least images, constantly, at least a few a day, once a week minimum, no matter what the spend level is. I work on accounts that spend tens of thousands a day. We're still testing once a week, all the time, if not more, twice a week. We're just constantly trying to cycle in creatives in order for the algorithm to pick something new, serve the audience something new so they don't get burned out by seeing the same exact creative. And that still applies if you're spending $100 a day. If you're spending this money, Facebook is trying to find your audience constantly, right? If you give the algorithm better creatives for them to select, they can show that audience different ads and then people can engage with different things that interest them, catch them off guard, they can click and then the algorithm will have a better understanding of who your audience actually is and they'll serve the ads to the correct people and then they'll get sales. Better creatives solve all of your problems. Sales cure all, just like how creatives cure sales, basically. If you have great creatives, sales will come. Don't worry about the interest, the audience, all of these different things. Your headline and primary text should obviously be great. You can simplify that. Copy somebody that you see in your niche on Facebook ads library. But your creative is the only thing that's really going to move the needle and actually scale and get you sales. Another huge problem that a lot of new brands are doing with ads is that their angles are so weak. They're not resonating with the consumer at all. All of the things they're talking about in the ad make no sense and they're not even trans translating to the problem, the solution that the consumer is dealing with. The weighted blanket, you could say it helps me sleep, right? But the majority of the problem there is that it's very comforting. It feels like a hug 
what percentage of Americans love that feeling of a cuddle and, and how that feels with the dopamine and how it relieves anxiety and stress. You should be talking about everything that actually solves a problem and then nails the insecurity. People are constantly insecure. How can you help them with that problem? The skincare does it all the time. Everything with weight loss does that all the time. If you're selling this weighted blanket, you need to show them this is going to calm you down at night. This is going to do all of these different things. You need to test angles constantly. Just because it's a beautiful weighted blanket doesn't mean how great the weighted blanket looks is going to sell the product. Very rarely does a product sell because it looks so great. There's plenty of drinks on the shelf at Erwan or Whole Foods that won't sell. Even even though because they have beautiful packaging, I don't care that it's like the 12th kombucha on the shelf. If it doesn't do anything different than the typical kombucha, the health aid, the GTs, whatever it is, why is anybody going to buy it? Someone can get a weighted blanket at CVS for 20 bucks. Are they going to pay $100 more because your weighted blanket looks great? I don't think so. So you need to basically, you need to explain the ease, how well it can wash, how easy it can wash, how my spouse loves it, how it makes you feel. All of these different things and these angles are going to allow the consumer to understand exactly what your product does, how you can solve their problem because the consumer always has problems and they are constantly trying to find a solution to all of their problems. If you can solve one of their problems and make their life a little bit easier, you need to educate them exactly how you can do that. A consumer, when they're looking at an ad, all they're thinking is how can this benefit my life? If your ad, as soon as you watch your ad back to you, if you don't think, oh, I would click on this ad, this makes sense, then you shouldn't even be running this ad. You need to think that the consumer is thinking, what can this do for my life? How can this better my life? And if you cannot better their life, you need to go back to the drawing board and figure out an angle for your product that actually resonates with the consumer. The best way to find angles that actually work are scrolling through Reddit, YouTube comments, I mentioned this before, and just other places that your consumers are spending their time. Type in TikTok, weighted blankets, favorite weighted blanket, best weighted blanket, all of these things. Watch the reviews about people's favorite weighted blankets. Understand those angles. Understand why people are actually buying these weighted blankets or whatever your product is, and then turn that into a script. I'm sure you can get plenty of help with ChatGPT. Find a winning script that you've had in the past, tweak it a little bit, and then rewrite that script with the new angle that you've just found on all of these different forums and pages. TikTok is so underrated when it comes to market research and understanding what your demographic is into. You need to be able to search anything on TikTok. It's basically the new Google. Search what you're looking for on TikTok, watch these videos, see what people are saying, read the comments, understand your demographic, and then make all of the ads based off of that. If you see a video with a weighted blanket that has millions of views, you should probably replicate that video. There's a reason why that has so many views, regardless if it's an influence or not, the angle that they're probably talking about resonates the most with the audience. Those are three things you're doing wrong. That's exactly how you can fix your ads and you can find a winner. You need to use Canva immediately. You need to create ads immediately, take pictures of post-its, use boomerangs, whatever it is, you can film extremely quickly, get somebody that you know to be in the ad, try to film as much as possible, get as much content as possible, put this into Canva if it's images, get this into Splice on your phone, just get this stuff edited really quick, start testing immediately, and then don't think because you're spending so little, you shouldn't be testing. You should always be testing, you should be cycling in new creatives constantly, testing new angles, have your talent match your demographic perfectly and film on an iPhone. The stock footage and polished videos and a lot of edits with transitions and all of these different crazy effects are never going to work. Maybe they'll work on YouTube or if you're running a TV commercial, if you're running an infomercial back 30 years ago, it probably would have worked. But now it is fully different. Your creatives need to be natural, organic, and really resonate with your consumer. I hope this helps. Check out all your competitors on Facebook ad library, see what they're doing, understand why their stuff is working, see how many ads they're running, see how you can replicate this and write your own script based off of Amazon comments, YouTube comments, TikTok. Just because you haven't found a winning ad after a month or two months of testing doesn't mean your product is bad. You need to test properly and actually make great creatives. That is going to lock a total new level of scale actually get you sales in and hopefully you become profitable. This is exactly what you're doing wrong with your Facebook ads. This is how to make a winning creative. This is how you can fix the creatives, make a winning ad, and I hope this helps. I do this constantly. This is basically what I do. So I'd love to hear if you apply these three things. If you make a winning ad, please tell me. I'd love to see it, very exciting. Please comment, like, subscribe. I'm gonna try to keep making more of these videos. Thank you.